In this video, I want to take you through how to create some trees for use inside of Forma 360. So I'm going to start off with my authoring tool here being 3ds Max. And I've got this little add-in called LibWork. And this allows me to create trees. So if I just choose one of the trees here from my library and keep the quality on low and apply, this instantly creates a tree for me. Now, what I've done with one of the presets here is I've actually changed it to have no leaves. So you can see if I put up leaf density, this has leaves, or you can put it down to one or two. But I want to have it as zero because I want it just to be a lightweight winter tree. A couple other things to note here is that I am showing the uh, geometry as opposed to just the massing here. And I've got cowl by level on. And this just means that if I turn that off, there's actually a lot of geometry here. So I could export this into format, but it could be very heavy because you can see there's a lot of information there. So what I want is a sketchy looking winter type tree, but I want it reduced down to a low polygon count. And in Max, if you hit uh, seven on your keyboard, you'll be able to see the polygon count here. And if we go back to turning it off, you'll see it increase dramatically. So I want to keep this nice, nice and light. So there's my, my simple tree that's ready to go using this add-in to 3ds Max. If we want to reduce that, right click, convert it to a editable poly, then do the drop down and use the Pro Optimizer to reduce the polygon count. So I'll just go into a calculation here. This tells us about the points and the faces. If I drop it down to say 10%, that will start to reduce those polygon counts. And you see over here on the left, it's all dropping. So if I turn that off, it goes up, turn it down, and it hasn't actually lost that much information. I mean, it's still a tree, but I've managed to reduce the file size. So I'm gonna explore that again. And we'll call this tree, tree four winter, and I'll call it low poly. So back to uh, Format, and you can see that's having a nice time there. So advice here is to not load in massive trees. So we'll fire this up again. And I'll just show you the tree so we're going to go to import 3D model. And now we have uh, that tree inside of Format, which we can uh, give it a name. And then also we want to maybe just look at the materials. So this is the default material that comes through, so we can go edit material and just lighten up a little bit. And this will work with leaves as well if you bring the leaves through. What I want to do though is actually edit that material and turn this into bark. So if we go to a free website here called textures.com and I want to get a bark texture, I'll grab that one and we'll just download it. And I want to bring this in as a PNG file to do the texturing. So here inside of, actually it's a, it is a JPG file. So here I'm going to edit that material, add a texture map, and I'll just paste that in there, paste that in there, and open. And we'll just use that as our texture and see how it's going to display inside of the model. So here's here's the texture, it's looking okay, but it might be looking a little bit too dark, so just turn off that color, drop it down to that, and now you get some better results. So there's, there's our tree that we've created. It's pretty fast now in this model, it didn't crash, and I will just say that locally, and I'll save that as an AXM file. So 
I'm going to put this in the main root folder here. Tree light, and this one will be uh, winter. Save, and then go back to my one that crashed. Slightly larger model. And we'll just get rid of that tree there, and I'll bring in the lightweight tree. Just processing again, and we'll bring it across to there. And this one's looking a bit, bit more responsive. And I'm just going to scale that up a little bit. And now we have a respectable looking winter tree inside of our Mormon environment. And this is one of the views that I've got saved for that one. So here's my tree, here's my building. You can see because it's 3D, it's casting shadows on that building. So that's how you create a tree for use inside of Format 360.